Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so glad that it did that. All right, let's finish this. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. All right, well, this is the end. On guard attacks. Undyne. Uh, plead. You told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. What? What is this? What? Undyne bounces impatiently. I'm going to play it again. You don't want to fight, but nothing happened. When I said face towards danger, I meant face towards the bullets. Okay. That was easy. Undyne surplexes a huge boulder just because she can. Plead. Nothing happened. Not bad. Now how about this? Oh, this is... Okay, this is easier than I thought it would be. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Undyne, plead. For Undyne, you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. It's like Dance Dance. I'm okay with this. I can do this. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Undyne, plead. Nothing happened. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Ooh, it's getting faster now. <laughs> Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. Told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Nice. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Plead. You don't want to fight. Nothing happened. Enough warming up. Oop, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Smells like sushi. Undyne, plead. Don't want to fight, but nothing happened. Heh, <laughs> you're tough. Ooh, hello, 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 hello. I want to go back to the other... I want to go back to DDR. Clips her spear impatiently. Told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. Even if I could... If you could beat me... Nope, 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 nope. Ooh. Bounces impatiently. Can I do mercy? No, I cannot. Plead. Told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Haha. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Haha. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Undyne, plead! Told Undyne, you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Oh ho ho ho! Holy crap! Smells like sushi. I was not expecting that. Plead. Told Undyne, you didn't want to be. Or you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Nice. Okay. Undyne bounces impatiently. Uh, should I... Next next time I'm going to take a item. Plead. Just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Stop being so damn resilient. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. Well. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Mmm, do I want to... Do I want to plead or item? Do I want to plead or item? I want to plead. You just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. What the hell are humans made out of? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Undyne suplexes a huge bowler just because she can. Told Undyne you don't... You just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Any else? Anybody else would be dead now. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I have one health left. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what these things do. Nice cream. 
Yay, okay. Alfie's told me humans are determined. Oh, that's new. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Plead. Told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. I see now what she meant by that. Ugh. Nice, okay. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. But I'm determined too. Shoot. Dang it. Those golden ones are hard. I guess I don't need to save anymore. Here I come. Okay. Here we go. On guard. Nope. Shoot. Can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. Unless a second against me. Cool. Okay, so last time I pled, do I want to challenge instead? Let's try that. Too easy. The bullets get faster. Oh, that's... That's fun. Let's try that. Okay, so it's the same. Our attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Nice, okay. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Nice. Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. I wonder if this will make it faster. Well, obviously the bullets are faster, but... Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I'm not doing as well as I did before, so... Uh, let's just keep going with this. Oh, that makes these faster, too. Oh, man. Flips her spear impatiently. Okay. Thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Challenge. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, let's keep challenging her. Too easy. The bullets get unfair. Honestly, killing you now is something else. Ah, uh, yes. That was fun. Uh, I'm going to use my item. Do I want to use Butts Pie or... Well, I know what that one did. Snow Piece. Next out. Nice. Dots. By just a menacing smile. Challenge. Bullets get faster. That's good. Stop being so damn resilient. Oh, come on. Smells like sushi. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Bullets get faster. What the hell are humans made out of? Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. Cool. Towers threateningly. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Bullets get unfair. Anyone else would be dead by now. Okay. Hold your fist in front of her and shakes. Challenge. She doesn't care. Alfie's told me humans are determined. Nice. Okay. Suplex is a huge boulder. Challenge. See now what she meant by that. Okay. There's a spear impatiently. I need a... Let's do Pie. 
Nice. But I'm determined too. Dang. Thanks for her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Challenge. Attacks are too easy. Bullets get faster, because that's a good thing to do. Determined to end this right now. Ooh. I don't know what that said. Right now. Suplex is a huge bowler just because she can. Uh, do I want to do... Yep, that's fine. Right now. Uh, challenge. Bullets get faster. Ha ha. Nice, okay. Draws her finger across her neck. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Bullets get faster. Die already, you little brat. Oh, oh my damn. Oh my damn. Whew. Flips her spear impatiently. I need that last bandage. 10 HP. You're getting in my way. Oh, shoot. Hyperventilating. Attacks are too easy. Bullets get faster. I will not be defeated. Oh, shoot. Okay. I have five. See if this... Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. I don't have any more. Oh, shoot. I don't have any more items. Undyne challenge. Her attacks are too easy. Bullets get unfair. Oh, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, shoot. I have one. I have one HP left. Oh, man. Nope, I can't get I can't get hit one more time. Oh damn it! So close. Alrighty, we're back. I'm gonna save a little bit because uh, I need the energy. No, you come back here. Here I come. Come back here, you little punk. All right. So flee. Nope. 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 Welcome to where was I? Come back here, you little punk. Again. Flee! Escaped. Haha. -ha. To... Holland. Hot... Oh, Holland. Hotland! Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you make great pals. Let's meet up on our at her house later. Click. Okay, I'm just gonna keep running. I'm, I'm gonna keep running. I'm gonna keep running. Oh, okay. Apparently I can't do anything with that. Come back here, you little punk. Flee. Don't slow me down. Oh, snap. Armor, so hot. But I can't give up. See, I was overthinking this. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes, I will. Take a cup of water, and I will give it to you. Give Undyne the water. Yes, I will. See, I'm such a nice person. Whew. 
Hooray! There is nothing going on musically. Oh, okay. Just walk away. See if I care. What are these? Nothing. I'm going to take another cup of water because I can. I'm going to go back over here. If the water returned to the water cooler. That's cool. Can I go back? I don't want to go back. Welcome to Hot Land. What? Hello. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Can I get you a drink? Yes, I will. Take a cup of water. Here you go. Are you just carrying around that... Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Okay, bye. Jeez. <laughs> the cup evaporated too. I like that. Seeing such a strange labo laboratory, laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. I will save. All right, let's keep going over this way. Oh, look, a lab. Uh, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go down. What? Well, hello. Tra-la-la. -la. Tra -la -la. I am the river man. Or I am the river woman. It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? No. Then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It doesn't really matter. Okay, queen. What's this way? Dots. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there were was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway. We'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Okay. To the lab we go. That's creepy. Can I shut this off? It's you? It's you? It's you? No, can't shut that off. It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay, everything's too dark. And then there's this guy. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... H hiya I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B but uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... Been observing your journey through my console, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. That's true. It really does. So, uh, now I want to help you. Okay, thanks. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Mataton. Mataton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some so small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti, anti-human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have a teensy mistake. I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> huh. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. He's right behind me, isn't he? He's, yeah, there he is. Did you hear something? No, I felt it. 
Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome beauties. To trophy to today's quiz show. Oh boy. I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Okay. Mataton attacks. No, I don't want that. Mataton. Uh, cry? Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, mercy. The quiz show continues. Metaton. Uh, check. Defense 255. Wow, his metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? This one. Correct, with a terrific answer. Can I spare? Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic, metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Here's another one easy for you. Uh, two trains, trains... Uh, um, I'm going to choose not to answer because I'm bad at math. Oh, okay. Apparently I, okay. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are there in this jar? A lot. Uh, 52. Completely and utterly wrong. Quiz show continues. Can I cry? Can I... I need to use a crab apple. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Uh, Froggit? Oh, really? Spare. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, heck yeah. Okay. Spare. Here's a simple one. How many letters in Metaton? This is an annoying game. Dang simulation video. New kissy. Ooh, ooh, I know this one. It's a snail ice cream. Who does Dr. Alfie's had a crash on? Uh, Undyne. Huh. Yes, she scrawls her name on the mar margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probably a, a probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well! With Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Okay, then. Well, that was certainly something. Yes, it was. It was a waste of time. That that last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. Well, he asked it, so... Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe, if you need help, I could... Sure, why not? Uh, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second. Please. Here, 
I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, and it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for our, the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Sure. Oh, nope, not going down that way anymore. I'm going to go up here. What's this? Pink goop drips from this strange machine. All these books are labeled human history. Read one? Okay. You look inside the book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as a very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. Look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chef chefs are fighting energy pan are flinging energy pancakes at one another. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. Looks like Alfie's work table seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. What is this? It's a promo poster for Matt Tun's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a computer. It's ex accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. What's in here? The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package, package of noodles? Yes, I will take it. You got the instant noodles. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Okay. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Okay. To the right I go. Alfie's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human, Vivi. Alfie's updated status. While I know she's unbeatable, I'll ask her later about it later. Carrot, carrot. For now, I gotta call up the human to guide them. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Vulcan strolls in. Act. Encourage, criticize, or hug. Let's see, what does it want? Mistakenly believes it's lava can heal people. You're hurt, I'll help. Okay. It said... It said it can heal people. You can't just give up yet. Link, stay determined. And I will do so. In the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I will see you later. So goodbye.